Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today we're going to talk about a technique that is very much about observation. So one of the things that I do when I do street is I don't just look for people in big situations. I don't just look for crazy situations and humor. I look for little details. And if you watch out for the details, sometimes those details can make a great photograph. So this photograph that I'm going to talk about today is a photograph that I took. I saw this person passing me. And again, I'll put it up in the link below so you can see it much bigger. But I saw this person passing me and he looked like a kind of a broad, big guy, but he's carrying a small Sephora bag, which I think is a women's makeup or some kind of perfumes and things like that. And as I was walking along, since I saw him, and since I'm carrying the 20 millimeter, and because I'm able to point it down and he's not even going to notice that I'm looking, I was able to quickly point it down and, and shoot him as he passes. And that photograph would just be in the trash if I saw it and it was just a guy carrying a bag. But when I got it back and I brought it into the edit, in the edit I could see that his shoes are really kind of tattered. They're work boots and they're kind of, you know, in, they're breaking up. They're, they're, they're not the most attractive set of shoes. They definitely have seen their day. And that tells me a story. That tells me a story. There's this guy who, who appears very, very gruff in his physical appearance. And yet he's carrying this bag and it appears to me in the photograph he's walking with a friend but not necessarily a woman. So he may be bringing the, this gift home and there may be a thousand stories of why he's carrying it. But he may have just found it. But the point is he is giving me a little story because there's something and there's an element with a foreground and a background. The bag and the brand and then his clothing. And I like detail shots. I like shots that give you a little sense of what a person is all about based on how they're dressed or what they're wearing or what they're carrying. And that's a little technique to just watch for because it gives you something else to look for when you're walking along, you're trying to get an idea of what's gonna catch your attention. If you see somebody carrying something, if you see somebody and then you just turn and point down, you can get them in passing their lower body. And if you get the object and you find some kind of a correlation between the object and them, sometimes you can find a story. And that's a technique you can use on, you know, like I said, in between while you're looking for that interesting shot and you're not finding much that doesn't look mundane out there, then maybe you'll find amongst that mundane, the detail. And it makes you really sharp because now you're not just looking around for the scene, you're looking for the little pieces of the scene. Is that a mom in high heels? and she's pushing a stroller. I have a photo like that in my gallery and I'll put it also in the links below to show you. It's, uh, to me it says, I'm a mom, I have a stroller, I have a responsibility, but I'm still going to wear my heels, I'm still going to look good. That's the story I came up with. And again, you can do a lot of that kind of photography and nobody's going to be in your face because you're just pointing at the ground and you're shooting little details. I shot the photo of the Sephora bag with a 20 millimeter, again, as the guy passed me. And I think that that's a interesting way to find little stories. And also to throw it away if there is no story. It's not just about getting it in focus, it's about finding a story. And so if you want to in the next week or so, 10 days, come up with, go out and shoot, go make some photographs, go get some pictures of people maybe a hand and a foot, or people standing in a street corner. Shoot me some details that show me that you saw those details, that you were seeking out those details, and what story were you able to find? And I'll critique them, we'll talk about them, we can have a discussion below, other photographers can contribute suggestions or comments, and it's all very constructive. I won't allow any kind of negative comments that are not constructive, and it's all about making our photography better and inspiring us to go out and shoot more and to shoot, tell stories. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, 
please hit the subscribe button and the Patreon and support is really welcome. If you could contribute $5 a month, it's a cup of coffee and a Starbucks and that really would go really far to helping me produce these and keep these going. And I appreciate everybody who already has and I appreciate that we get to talk photography and I'm glad to be here to talk photography, be inspiring. All right, thanks so much. Here's the good light.